Hello everybody, it's your boy Shannon Man coming at you again with another video. This time guys, I'm going to actually show you some video editing techniques that I've been asked about on my channel. As you can see here in Vegas, I have a clip simply placed. And I know this is kind of basic for you guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and cover everything that you have to do. So when you start up a new project, it's all going to look like... Basically, you're going to hit the new button. It's going to come up with this menu. You want to go ahead and click on this drop down and go down to HDV 72030P because that is the YouTube size that is going to be used. And then you just hit OK. From there, you want to go to File, Import Media, and then you would go ahead and import whatever videos that you wanted. From there, you can simply drag them onto your screen. Now, the video tutorial that I'm going to be showing you guys is how to actually place a banner across the top of your video on the bottom, on the side, etc. So that's what we're going to be focus on, focusing on. So to do this, we need to go over here into Photoshop and go to File and New. And once we're in here, we're going to make a new document, seven, or I'm sorry, uh, 1280 by 720. And the DPI doesn't really matter, but I generally just use 300 DPI. That way, it's a higher res file. As you can see here, it now comes up on the screen. We want to go ahead and double click the background. And then we simply want to create a new layer and delete that. Now these little check boxes that are on the back of the thing mean it's currently transparent, which is exactly what we want and need. Now from here, because 1280 is the size we used, I know that according to the sizes that we used in Vegas, that it is the correct parameters to use. Now if you're using a different sized video file for whatever reason, you would want to make your Photoshop document those specific dimensions. In this case, it is 1280 by 720. So once you're here, it's really simple. You simply create your section to banner or whatever it is that you want to do. So I'm going to create kind of a thicker one so we can definitely see it. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this with black, as you can see I'm doing right here. Now that that banner is done, I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And then I want to go to stroke, and I want to make sure that, that is a white stroke. And I know you can't see it on here very much, but when we get into the actual video, you will definitely be able to see it a whole lot more. From there, I'm going to go ahead and type in some text. I'm going to go ahead and type in my channel name right here. Make sure that that is white so it stands out on the black. But I also have a little bit of an idea of something else that I want to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and size this down. Let's go to like 25 or so, maybe even smaller than that. And that looks pretty good. Now you want to hold down Shift and you want to make sure that you get this thing centered. And the reason you want to hold down Shift is because it snaps and it allows you to go ahead and snap to your document. If you want to make sure you're exactly right in the middle, go ahead and go down to rulers. And you can see here that we can create a ruler by simply dragging over here till we are in the center of the document, which is approximately right here. Okay? And that is, you know, approximately, actually, that's not the center. Right here is the center. Ah, get one between. Right there is the center of our document. So from there, I then want to make sure that my text is lined up in the center as well as it is doing right here. Now, I want to go ahead and do one little thing to this. I want to go ahead and make sure I have on rounded edge, the rounded edges shape, and I simply want to drag this down like so. Now, when I do that, as you can see here, it's going to create you know this this border and actually you know what let's go ahead and move this up a little bit not that much but about like that now from there I'm gonna go ahead and combine those two layers go ahead and go back to the stroke layer and make that be white for the stroke and then hit OK now as you can see here the banner is made for my specific purposes that I need so I don't really need to do anything else from there you would simply go to file and save and I'm just gonna save this on my desktop as banner and what the important part is, is you want to make sure that it is on PNG. PNG allows you to keep your transparency on the image, and that's why we're using that mode. From there, you just want to go to File, Import Media, and go to your desktop, and you can then select the banner. Now, to drop it on your video, this gets a little bit confusing because normally people go in here and they drop it on their thing, but unfortunately, you can't see it behind the video, as you can see. So what you actually want to do is when you're dragging it in here, if you drag it above, you'll see that this thing here, uh, will, you'll actually see it kind of go above the track a little bit. That allows you to drop it on top of the layer. You can then drag it all the way across your entire thing. And because of the transparency, it automatically recognizes this and allows you to have the banner on the top of your video, as you see here. And now if I play through the video, it actually stays nice and put the way that I want. You can then animate this and do other things, but I'm not going to get into that right now. This is just a basic tutorial. 